I'm riding along the fence line and Pig Trudy's rooting me on. Pig Trudy is rooting me on. Hey, baby. Everyone's come out to meet, see daddy on Voodoo. Pig Trudy especially loves to see daddy riding horses. She wants to ride someday. You know what I need to figure out? How to make myself more limber, maybe. Yeah, and that ain't gonna happen. Anyway, I think the saddle's pretty good. I think it fits okay. I don't know exactly, but oh, look at this, a place for a pocket knife. Uh-oh, should we insert the Rambo music on this video? Hey folks, Lester here. Uh, I wanna show you a real blessing that we've received from my Aunt Joanne and my Uncle Raleigh. Now, Aunt Joanne and Uncle Raleigh are the folks who gifted us with uh, our new baby, Dixie. Now, they've also sent some other things over here that they no longer used, and it includes a whole bunch of saddles and other tack for horses. Now, a lot of these things have been in their uh, tack room for years. They've not really been cleaned and conditioned. Uh, you guys know that most of these things were even flooded during Harvey. So what I've done is I kind of gathered some things up and I'm going to attempt to put together uh, a couple of really good working saddles from all of this. And uh, once I do that, I'm gonna take Voodoo out for a morning ride. Before I do that though, let me show you some other things that this trailer they also sent over has. Now my Uncle Raleigh, and uh, you know what, I don't guess you guys have ever met him and I should introduce him. He's getting older, but for years he did trail rides and he actually used Dixie to pull a wagon in his trail rides. But what he would also do is take this trailer along with them. This is a funny story. So Dixie would never drink the water that they would offer the horses on the trail rides because she didn't like the chlorine taste of the city water. So Uncle Raleigh, this is funny. Uncle Raleigh has a built down water tank that he would fill with his water, you know, well water, good country well water that he would take for Dixie and so along the trail, at, you know, this is whenever they would stop, he'd put her in the back of the trailer here and he would fill her water trough up with good country well water. Now you're saying, wait a minute, Uncle Raleigh would leave Dixie in this trailer at night? Yeah, he would. But guess what? Uncle Raleigh would sleep here in this compartment. Now let me close this door and show you. This is the front of the horse trailer and Uncle Raleigh converted this and to be his bunk. Now, I haven't cleaned anything up. It has not been cleaned and gone through in years. So just ignore that for now. But it's just really neat to see, look up in here and see all the things my Uncle Raleigh used to do. You know, I'm seeing playing cards and I mean, his John Wayne poster, his little, his bed, his bunk over here. He decked it out, folks, with a little air conditioner, a microwave. So it's funny the way you know, you go on these trail rides once you're rustic and reminding you of the old days. Look, here's a little, man, he got all kinds of things here. And, um, and so, but then of course at night you want to have the luxuries of home. You want to have your cot, your microwave. Oh my gosh, look, he has a bunch of movies. <laughs> Those are VHS. Those are VHS movies. That's hilarious. And uh, I see Rambo. I'm going to take that. That'll be funny. Uh, however, I don't know where I'm going to find a VHS player. Now, here's a problem. Uh, this trailer is only going to be used for, I'm thinking, I don't even know what I'm going to use it for yet because it's a gooseneck and my truck doesn't pull a gooseneck. My truck, uh, just has the ball on the back. Now I might could equip my truck with, oh, look, we're talking about you right now, Dixie. We're talking about you. I might could equip my truck with a gooseneck, but I don't think I'm going to. I really don't think I would ever pull this thing anywhere. Uh, so I set it here for now just to work through it. And uh, I'm gonna dig through all these saddles in a little bit. The horses have come up. I think that they know what's up. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this is my saddle of choice. Uh, the one I dug out first because of that right there and this right here i don't know why but i like that bone i think it's like a bone with that little uh leather snakeskin wrap 
I like the silver, and I may be putting a shadow on it. Hi, babies. Who wants to ride this morning? It's early. It's only 7, 7.30. So I wanted to get a ride in before it got too, too hot. Uh, now, I'm not riding you because uh, I'm not, just because. And I think that I'm gonna ride you. I like riding on Voodoo. I think because he's the, the biggest horse we have, and I know I'm a big guy. I weigh just over 200 pounds, and I just feel like he's taller and bigger, and I feel like I look more natural on him. I felt like when I rode Dixie, I just look too big. Now, no, baby, I'm sorry, I'm trying to save your back. Uh-huh. All right, so this is the saddle that I seem to like the most. Uh, Faith helped me put it together. And so we're gonna try this one over here out first. And if, it's, if this is the one that works out best for us, then this is the one that I'll start using whenever I ride. I'll take it and clean it all up good and I'll put it inside the, uh, uh, the barn dominium and make a place for it. And so then we'll go through the saddles that everyone prefers out of our new collection. So Cornholio thinks that he has to be a part of everything. He has to make sure he approves of everything going on around here. And I can't even go off on a morning horse ride as long as Cornholio doesn't give me the approval to leave. He's blocking my way. He's literally in my way so I can't leave. Cornholio, I'm asking permission, your majesty. May I leave the premises? So this is that pasture that we just got bailed. The grass is uh, cut nice and short. It's a really pretty field to ride in. I don't think that Voodoo minds his early morning ride. And of course, I want to keep him as far away from anything that can just, uh, we already know that he's very sensitive in nature and uh, he can jump at the whim of a sound or a, any kind of sudden movements. So to me, I feel a lot safer out here away from everything. And I'm sure the ground here is nice and soft. So if I were to take another fall, and most folks know that I took one a few months back. I think I might be a little safer here than what I would be uh, up in that yard where there's a little bit harder ground. And yet this pond over here, look at this, it's like a little oasis. It's like a little oasis. When we were kids, we'd play over here. We'd walk down in there and, oh, dad would get so mad at us because he always thought we were gonna end up drowning, but no, let's walk down here, buddy. Can we come down here? Now, on his own, he stops right here. Oh, well, I think any horse people know why he stopped on his own. <laughs> That's funny. I got something on video that you normally wouldn't be able to put on Facebook, yet the shadow of it is totally fine. Oh, my goodness. Look who's come to join us. Well, hello, Maggie and Trixie. Now, they love the water. They know about this pond. <laughs> We're walking down here. I'm trying to go where it's least slopey. Now, what I'm kind of worried about is the fact that it might be kind of muddy. And I don't want to get voodoo bogged down in mud. Some animal has walked into here. And uh, I don't want to bog uh, voodoo down. The dogs went through no problem. So, I voted against going down to the pond. The ground there is a little bit mucky. And what I don't want to do is get him bogged down. That would not be good for either one of us. How many of you guys remember this place? Whoa, I should put a trivia question on there. This is a place that uh, I made a video not too, too long about this place. I was showing Jamie some of my favorite landmarks here on our property. And this is what, another place that we played as kids. We uh, would come over here and get this moss and dress ourselves up. We call it Moss Hill. And now we are moseying along. I think that's proper cowboy terminology. We are moseying along Texas pasture. Hey, Tex. He could care less. He could absolutely care less. He's not gonna leave that little chunk of hay that he's nibbling on this morning. Hey, selfie mode. At what age does someone get too old for selfie mode? I need to learn that. Cause what I don't wanna do is be making a fool of myself. Hey, babies. Here's our pig Trudy again, look. Hey, pig Trudy. Where's she at? <laughs> That's my pig Trudy. All the geese. This feels so good. I love riding horses and I never realized it. 
I hadn't ridden in years. I would and say that was a good ride. I really like the saddle. It needs to be cleaned up and conditioned. It's old, but that's okay. And I guess it fits right. I need to probably raise my stirrups a little bit, even though this is gonna be embarrassing to admit, but I liked, I wanted them low. Okay, this is gonna sound really dumb, but I put the stirrups low so I could get on easier. But when I'm actually on, I wanted them higher because <laughs> it was kind of uncomfortable with my legs hanging so low. So if that makes any sense to y'all, or maybe not, so I'll say that again, that was funny. I had set the stirrups very low so I could get on. But once I was on, I wanted them back high so or higher. So I think, but you can't adjust once you're up there. And if you can, then, you, then you're a lot more limber than I am. But uh, so I need to figure out a way. You know what I need to figure out? How to make myself more limber maybe. Yeah, and that ain't gonna happen. Okay, well I'm gonna take the saddle off and get him cleaned up a little bit and wiped down and sprayed off and everything else that we do because uh, it's starting to get hot. All right, folks, thank you all for watching. And Voodoo, thank you for a wonderful ride.